What's up, YouTube Loop Troop, as well as the new Pokemon Pocketeers? My name is Loopy Fist, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to take down Mewtwo, or at least the way that I like to do it. So, the thing about the Mewtwo deck in the uh, EX solo battle is that it's, it's, um, doesn't really have a lot of weaknesses. Like the only thing that Psychic is weak to right now is Dark type. And there's not the there's not very many great decks versus Dark type. You can probably beat it with like a maybe a what a, a Koga deck or something like that. But I for one, I realize this deck has a lot of basic Pokemon in it. So I'm gonna actually use my favorite deck, and that is control issues. So with this deck, you actually get to pull in all the basic Pokemon. You can push them out or whatnot. The cool thing is that if they do wrap up really fast with Mewtwo, then we can just end up blowing it away with Aerodactyl if we get the chance to. And blowing it back into the deck can be very good for us, especially because they have so many, they have so many basic cards in this deck. So let me show you real quick. They have two Clefairy, they have two Ralts, they have Jinx. Um, and and they have two Mewtwo. So you can basically throw around a lot of stuff with um with uh, Victory Bell. Victory Bell is really cool because any basic Pokemon, that's including the EX Pokemon as well, if they're on the back line, you can pull them up to the front. So if you check it out, every single one of these Pokemon um, besides Jinx, so all four of these can be killed with one hit from Victory Bell. So this thing is AI, so it's not really gonna know that it shouldn't put out uh, a basic when Victory Bell's available. So you should be able to win this pretty easily. This was the best thing I could come up with to beat this deck. We all know what this deck is doing. It's got Gardevoir in here. It wants to get Gardevoir out and start pumping up the Mewtwo. It's got, yeah, it's got X Speeds, it's got Pokeballs, press researches, and one Sabrina. So we know there is a Sabrina and they may use it if they need to. So this deck is really powerful. Um, let me show you the deck that I have for it. So this is my deck. It's called Control Issues. It's my favorite deck in the game. Uh, Victory Bell and Aerodactyl, probably my two favorite Pokemon. And that's why we have two um, Old Ambers. We have two Aerodactyls. We have two Bell Sprouts, two Weeping Bell, two Victory Bell. So that's gonna be the meat and potatoes of the deck. We do have a Pidgey line, but we have one Pidgey, two Pidgeotos, and we have um, one Pidgeot. That way we have a higher chance of pulling the Pidgeotto um, we know we have Pidgey and we can get that with a Pokeball. So we're not too worried about that, but we also have one Pidgeot cause hopefully at the end of the, the line, after we've gotten these all up, we'll have our Pidgeot in our hand and be able to put it in there. But Pidgeot is not as important as Victory Bell. Like I said earlier, Victory Bell can pull all the basic Pokemon from the bench and bring it up and one shot it. 60, 60 damage on Vine Whip, pretty good, not super over, power or anything like that, but really good uh, Pokemon. And it's really great at just killing the back line. Now, if Mewtwo does get um, a really good head start, I love using Aerodactyl and hoping for the 50-50 that we can actually kick it back into the deck. That's gonna be a lot of resources that they'll actually have wasted on that Mewtwo that's up in the active position. And if Aerodactyl dies, it's kind of okay. Um, so that's the basic um, uh, meat and potatoes of the deck. We have some, uh, if, oh, we can also push things out with Pidgeot. Pretty simple, right? That's, that's push it out of the active position that we can't control, right? So that's, those are things that we can do, but we can all, we also have two Pokeballs. We know that we have three basic Pokemon, so we can get those out of the deck as soon as we can. If you get these, use them as fast as you can. We know that they don't have any red cards, so that's good. The old Ambers, lay them down um, if you can. It's not a big deal, but be careful. They do have a Sabrina. They can make you put the old Amber out and then they kill it, and there's nothing you can do about that. So be careful. If you put old Amber out, make sure you have at least another basic Pokemon you can pivot into instead. We got two Erica's to help out with our Victory Bells. We need that because Victory Bell has 140 HP, but having an extra 100 uh, HP to toy around with is phenomenal. And Professor Research just to you know be greedy and get a bunch of pulls. So this deck is, like I said, my favorite deck, and I think it's the only one you really need. It's a budget deck. Like nothing in here is nothing in here is gonna have. Well, I have Pidgeot. Um, I don't think I have a Pidgeot that doesn't have. The star on it but i could beat this um without the um without the star this is just cosmetic i don't know why it wants you to beat it without these things but 
yeah you can you, if you have a regular pidgeot just put that in here and then you can get the uh challenge for beating it without any um star cards or anything like that just with these cards so keep that in mind and um yeah this shouldn't take that long because this deck unless they get very lucky and we get very unlucky which can happen in this game um so let's go ahead and, and get into the beautiful bean footage all right let's pray and hope that we end up going okay well first is actually not that bad it just depends on what cards they play they they have a lot of uh basic pokemon in their deck hopefully they don't have mewtwo great they have clefairy they do have a mewtwo still though we can still bring this up if we want to and uh make it but we have a weeping bell now so that's good and of course we also have our old amber so we'll lay that down as well and we're going to end our turn because we have a good we have a decent hand we have victory bell so he's gonna go ahead and put his mewtwo up hopefully we get an aerodactyl and we can get get this mewtwo kicked out that would be very nice got both of our weeping bells what am i doing um i should probably go i'm not gonna i'm not even gonna worry about it. we do have um we do have we have an old amber out and we what we can do is we can kill this clefairy if they don't pull a clefable and then we can go ahead and knock this out with aerodactyl if we get the opportunity they have a clefable now so this is kind of bad next turn i can kill ralts that's a good thing we don't want them to be able to uh start pumping up with Gardevoir. i can also heal my heal myself um then go into victory bell so let's go ahead and kill kill ralts And we, we really need to get some professor researches or some pokeballs or something like that but we're gonna kill ralts because we don't want them to start leveling up and getting into uh danger territory with this hopefully they put out some more of these uh basic pokemon and we can kill them without them killing us really so and maybe we'll get some basic pokemon in the mix let's see so he put me two back out he needs two more turns to kill us he might get Ralts again right now. He's gonna get something. Maybe a Clefable, we'll we'll see. Yep, so he has a Clefairy. We're gonna kill that thing next turn. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, there's no need to heal myself because he's gonna kill me regardless. Let's go ahead and just lay down this Bell Sprout, and we'll put a point. Because we can't even like go into the other one yet. Well, you know what, should I heal myself? I could heal myself. Let's use Fragrance Trap, bring in this Clefairy. Like I said, the, the CPU doesn't know that it's a bad idea to uh, do this. Let's, he doesn't have, he does not have um, like Giovanni or anything. So he's gonna have to kill us with side drive next turn anyways. Um, so it doesn't matter if I use Erica or not. So I'm not gonna use it. So. We'll just use my whip and we'll just kill Clefairy. He's gonna kill us next turn regardless because he sees the kill shot. If I would have gotten Aerodactyl right now, I would have tried to blow him out of the blow him back into the deck. That's fine. We don't have to get the one win without our opponent getting any um points. Um, but basically this is how you would do it. See, we knew he would use either side drive or something, so this is fine. I'm gonna put in my bell sprout. Okay, so now we can actually get Aerodactyl, I think. We have 10 cards, hopefully we get it. Let's see, another old Amber, another, we get our Pidgey. So, not the best draws this game. That's okay. We're gonna hold off. And next turn, because he's killed, we we don't have another Bell Sprout. We have, but this, this is the last thing I can put out pretty much. So I might as well throw it out here. Um, there's nothing that we have to worry about. He has Sabrina, but I can pivot into Pidgey. So, yep, he does that. So what are we gonna get? We get a Pokeball, go ahead and use it. We don't have to use it cause we're not gonna get anything. But the reason why we do that is because, well, I might as well use this on this, it doesn't matter. It's our last one. Um, 
let's go ahead and try to attack. But the reason we do that is because if they did have a red card, then we don't want to pull the Pokeball, right? We want to pull something else that we need, but it doesn't matter in this case because we know they don't have a red card, but I just went ahead and did it out of habit. Let's go ahead and attack this Mewtwo. I don't think we're going to be able to win this one because we didn't get Aerodactyl and we also didn't get Pidgeot or Pidgeotto. So kind of, kind of tough to win. There's a way we can win. If we get Pidgeotto right now, we can still win, but that's the only way. And I don't think it, oh my God, we actually will win. I think we'll actually win this now. Because all I have to do is, now if he has Sabrina, then we lose. Because, because we, um, he only needs one point, we only need one point. Oh wait, we actually still might lose, to be honest. He's gonna put a point on this. We don't have a Giovanni, so yeah, we're probably still gonna lose. Oh, he has Sabrina. I told you, if he has Sabrina, he will use it. All right, that's it. We lose the first one, but we got very close. You guys see the point of the deck though, right? I'm assuming. Um, they just got some really good pulls. So sometimes that just happens. Let's go ahead and get right back in. I still think this deck is good versus this deck simply because of all the basic Pokemon that they have and the computer not understanding like y'all shouldn't do this. So let's hope we get a decent hand. We're always going first because it's not <laughs> it's not in an advantage an advantage for us to do to do otherwise. So there we go. All right, we know our Pokeball is going to be Pidgey next turn. So we know that that's the case. So we know we have Pidgey and we also have Pidgeotto. So that's good. They had an amazing draw. They have both of their Mewtwo's. Okay, we do have Fragrance. I mean, we have Victory Bell. So let's hope that we can actually get get that out. That would be awesome. And we also have Pidgeot I mean, Pidgeotto. So we may get our Pidgeot at some point, hopefully. <laughs> if not, I guess it's okay. Nothing, nothing we can do about it. This is RNG, baby. We play the game perfectly right now. There's nothing else we can do except play the game as perfectly as we possibly can. He's getting all of his basic Pokemon. Okay, so we do have Weeping Bell, so that's good. We're gonna start putting points on Weeping Bell. We have an Erica as well. We're gonna go ahead and go into Pidgeot, Pidgeotto. I don't know why I said Pidgeotto, Pidgeotto. Um, and I'm, oh, well, damn it. So that kind of sucks. He's gonna hit us for 50. We're gonna heal it, but we're gonna go into Mewtwo and see if we can prevent them from doing some things. We finally get Aerodactyl who was hiding away last game. So, and there's no reason not to, um, to do this. So I'm not gonna be able to bring in Karelia. It really does suck that he got it. He got his Karelia, um, so early. I'm gonna bring in this Mewtwo and I'm gonna start welling on it. Um, reason why is because this this thing can die in what, like four hits of us, I think? <clears throat> is what we have to do? No, three hits. In three hits, this thing will die. He can start doing a side, side spear, but he, oh, he's gonna put this in. Okay, so never mind. Like I said, this deck is extremely OP. So he's gonna kill our victory bell. And <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and get out because <laughs> he just got everything that he needed. And this is this is just something that happens in this game. Sometimes the Mewtwo deck will just get the nuts. If they get the nuts, all you got to do is concede and just go back in because that's just the kind of the way it is, really. Unless you want to play with something that's extremely like OP. And in this case, it'd probably just be a Mewtwo deck versus a Mewtwo deck. Um, you could probably do something else like the Pikachu deck or something like that. But for the most part, you're going to eventually get a game where they don't get every single thing they need. Like right now we go second, which is good. We don't want them having any extra energy than they need. We also have a professor research. So that's a good, that's good as well. And we have an old Amber. So we might actually be able to blow his Mewtwo back into the deck if we uh, get the opportunity to. Okay, we got Victory Bell as well. Let's see what old Professor Oak's gonna give us. He gives us Pidgeotto and an old Amber, so good. Let's go ahead and put down an old Amber because next turn I will be, um, 
throwing um, Aerodactyl Bound on that. Uh, let's whip this. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Not a lot of bit, but a little bit. Okay, let's watch them play. Oh, they didn't do anything. Interesting. Um, let's go ahead and go into Aerodactyl right here. And I might as well put a point on this because we don't have we don't have any reason not to. So every every Pokemon in this deck only needs two energy to be able to do what it needs to do. And Victory Bell is the only thing that needs to have two energy to retreat. So as long as you put one energy on everything that you have out, you should be happy, you should be fine. Uh, let's go ahead and hit this again. It sucks. It sucks that we don't have Weeping Bell because next turn we will be going into Victory Bell, but not a whole lot we can do about that. Now he's going into Clefable. He's going to be dealing 50 damage to me. So that really sucks. Can I have Weeping Bell? Nope, I can get Pidgey. Come on, Pidgey. Just a, just a bird. Just a whole ass bird. I could have backtracked and tried to blow this thing back into the deck, but I won't do that. I'm gonna let it kill me first and then I'm gonna try to try to put it back into the deck. So what's he gonna put out? It would be nice to get a weeping bell, but I know they're not gonna be nice to us like that. They would never be nice to us like that, right? Let's go for the 50-50 and see if we can knock this son of a bitch back in the deck. Cause man, that's about all we got right now. It is basically an instant, an instant kill to an extent. It doesn't give you a point, but hey, it's whatever. We can go ahead and lay down this old Amber because there's no reason not to. Go ahead and lay down Pidgeotto. No reason not to. And let's see if we can actually hit this. It's a 50-50, but sometimes it feels like it's not. It's 50-50. Back into the deck, bitch. All right, so now Mewtwo is gone. Clefable is in. So he still has a, a Ralts out there and he has a Pokeball. So he's gonna get his Mewtwo right back. Of course he is, why wouldn't he? It's gonna go right here, right? Nope, puts it on the right. Okay, but he just got it back, unfortunately. So we can still try to uh, do some stuff. Now, unfortunately, if he does have Gardevoir, it's gonna kind of suck. Let's let's go ahead and stall some. I'm gonna throw in Pidgeotto and I'm actually going to do drive off because I want to try to kick this thing out again. I want to kick this Mewtwo out again. He's not going to put Karelia in probably. I doubt it. Oh, he did. He put Karelia in. Wow. I'm surprised. Um, great. I can try to drive this thing off instead. All right, let's go. Primordial wing beat. He must really want that. Um, He really wants that Mewtwo in <laughs> but now he doesn't have a uh Karelia. so this is another part of the deck so now that i've kicked something back into the deck he's gonna have to play ralts again right and because of that because of that we can kill this ralts next turn now so i'm gonna go into victory bell and this is this is the beauty it basically swaps it basically will swap um Oops, let me uh, retreat first. Let's retreat, go into Victory Bell, and I am going to kick out this Ralts because we don't want it up here. Oh, let me see, what, what, what do we have on our Pokemon? Let's go ahead and put a point onto Pidgeotto, I mean Pidgeot, because it needs, basically we're doing that because everything only needs one point on it to spread, so we're gonna spread it. So let's go ahead and that sounds, that sounds, bad we're gonna spread the energy and let's bring in ralts because we don't want ralts in here and we're gonna we're gonna vine whip it so we don't want him to start ranking up with mewtwo because once he starts doing that it's almost impossible for us to get rid of it unless we try to blow it away with aerodactyl jinx uh can't really do a whole lot to us so he has a new mewtwo now one that has no no energy on it and I kind of want that Mewtwo. I'm gonna I'm tell you right now, I kind of want this Mewtwo. I only got one point. I'm bringing this Mewtwo in here, man. He's already used both of his X speeds, I think, or he used one of them. 
So he doesn't have a whole lot of energy to really mess around with. So let's go ahead and put a point onto this old Amber as well. And we're gonna start vibe whipping this Mewtwo. So like, here's the thing, we can kill this fairly quickly. He's gonna start trying to bring it out and, and get it out and do stuff, but he's not gonna be able to spread enough energy really to to make it really that effective. Like he'll put, like what's he gonna do? He used an X-Speed and didn't even get it out. So now we have another victory bell, but it doesn't matter because he already killed our, uh, what's the get it? Let's go ahead and put a point on Aerodactyl. Doesn't really matter. We're gonna go ahead and Vine Whip. Like, I think he's pretty much stuck now. Unless he has, even if he has, he, he doesn't have any potions. He does. If he has two potions, still not a whole lot he can do. We'll put in Pidgeotto. I mean, Pidgeot, nothing he can do really. Like he can, he can hit it, but cool. This only needs one point to retreat. So now he's dead. So this is the game of chess that you have to play when you want to beat this deck. Um, we got really lucky, but it all worked out in the end. I could have killed him with uh, that, but I like killing with this. So we know energy can be attached, that's fine. All right, and that's that. We beat the Mewtwo deck. It took us like three tries. I'm not gonna do a budget and non-budget deck because this budget deck is fine. And if I was to go with a non-budget deck, I would probably say just try to use um starmy ex starmy ex is probably gonna be the best deck that you can do starmy ex two articuno exes um you can throw something else in there if you want to but really those are the only cards you need in that deck and you'll be fine um throwing misty that's the most expensive deck that i can say hey yo look there you go this should win you the game fairly quickly because you're going to prevent them from being on turn two you're going to be able to deal 90 damage to that uh, Mewtwo before it can get four energy. So they're going to have to pivot around a lot and they don't have a whole lot of uh, cards that can handle that kind of uh, stress. So make sure you have Sabrina in there as well. But I love Victory Bell being able to basically pull in the cards that it leaves in the background. You see how bad Mewtwo felt once we kicked it back and we were able to uh, get rid of the Ralts. We got we get, basically got rid of its gasoline. Well, no gasoline is just a car sitting there to be banged on. Like it, we're just gonna we're just gonna destroy it. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, leave a like, subscribe, comment. You know, ask me something in the comments. Um, I answer all my comments on YouTube. So if you're seeing this and you're new here, drop a comment. I will answer your question. People ask me questions all the time. I always answer them. Regardless of that, um, I think this was there. Yeah, this is the fifth one we've done. We uh, have one more to do, and that video should be coming out either today or tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, this has helped you guys out, and we'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace.